Yo, what's good? Super excited to share this course with you guys. I've been working so hard on it, so let's dive straight into this. Terpenes, the unique bouquet of cannabis. Also known as isoprenoids, terpenes are quite small. The molecules are consisting of repeating compounds called isoprene. It's less well known than major cannabinoids, but terpenes still play a vital role. It contributes to the physiological and psychotropic effect of cannabis, which is known as the entourage effect. The entourage effect is the relationship between cannabinoids and terpenes. It's about how all these components work together synergistically to give you that one desired effect. Ultimately, it's how one cultivar differentiates from another based on volatile sulfur compounds, flavorants, cannabinoids, and terpenes. So there's so many more compounds that we are still discovering and have yet to discover. There are over 200 terpenes in the cannabis plant alone, and only a select few have been studied for their pharmacological benefits. All right, so let's talk about the endocannabinoid system. Cannabinoids and terpenes work together synergistically to give you that one desired effect along with the other compounds I mentioned before. So it's no surprise that terpenes would also trigger the endocannabinoid receptors, which not a lot of people know about. Um, terpenes are, or cannabinoids are a class of terpenophilic compounds, meaning they're part phenol and part terpene, a subset of terpenes. Terpenes are hydrocarbon groups created by an array of combinations of one-time isoprene units that make them up. Terpenoids, all phenols are are aromatic hydrocarbon groups, meaning they have a pronounced scent. The reason why terpenes have that pronounced scent is because they're volatile at room temperature. The result of the smell is the degradation of those terpenes. Terpenoids are compounds related to terpenes, but may include oxygen or have molecules rearranged. The, ter the terms are often used interchangeably. The different combination of cannabinoids and terpenes found in cannabis are what gives each cultivar its unique bouquet. Terpenes are not only unique to cannabis. Terpenes play a vital role in the plant kingdom. It helps protect plants from environmental stresses. It even works as a deterrent against pests. Um, it acts as a building block for certain cannabinoids, and many terpenes act synergistically with other varieties of terpenes. So let's talk about one of my personal favorite terpenes, pinene. It's mostly found in, you guessed it, pine trees, and also cannabis varietals such as jack hair, chem dog, super silver haze, also in rosemary and parsley. It's crucial for our bodies as it forms the biosynthetic base for CB2 ligands in our endocannabinoid system. Pinene is a known bronchodilator, so it can actually help increase airflow to the lungs. It helps with fighting chronic pain, Anti, it's an anti-inflammatory and analgesic. Um, it's also been shown to have anti-cancer properties as it causes apoptosis. It's an anti-proliferative. It's also been shown to aid with memory retention, which is super cool. Um, I would be careful with that if you're under the age uh, when your brain and bodies are still developing, of course. But natural pinene, if you go into the forest, it's been shown to help with that. It activates most around 315 degrees, I believe, or 311 or um, 155 degrees Celsius. One of the main terpenes found in cannabis is known as myrcene. Myrcene can also be found in thyme, lemongrass, hops, and also citrus. It's a monoterpene, meaning the smallest of terps. It's described as having an earthy, fruity, clove-like aroma. Surprisingly, hops and cannabis are actually cousins, so they both come from the cannabicae family. That's why when you drink an IPA, it kind of has like that little bit of weed taste to it. So the name myrcene actually originates from Myrcia sparacarpa, a medicinal shrub from Brazil that has been shown to have high amounts of myrcene. It's been used for ages as a remedy for diabetes, dysentery, hypertension, um, diarrhea. It, it's crucial for the formation of other terpenes and it actually allows a higher absorption of cannabinoids to the brain. It activates most around 330 degrees Fahrenheit or 167 degrees Celsius. Having trouble sleeping? Linalool is the terpene for you. So linalool is Best known for giving lavender its unique scent, it's been used in aromatherapy as a relaxant and also a sleep aid. Its floral scent is reminiscent of spring flowers, but with spicy overtones. It's been used as an analgesic and also an anti-epileptic, which not a lot of people know about. It's crucial for the production of vitamin E in our bodies. It's common in Granddaddy Perp and also Indica varietals. It activates most around 388 degrees Fahrenheit or 198 degrees Celsius. All right, so this is one of my least favorite terpenes personally for me, but I know a lot of people do like it out there. Limonene. Limonene is a cyclic monoterpene. It has a pronounced citrus flavor and odor. It's somewhat sweet and tangy yet bitter at the same time. The highest concentration is found in, you guessed it, citrus rinds. It's commonly used in perfumes, food, medicine, and also um, cleaners. So it's been shown to help with 
promoting weight loss as it aids with digestion and helps with gastric distress. It's also been shown to have antifungal properties, so that's why it's commonly used in uh, cleaners. It's been shown to help with anxiety and also depression. It's most commonly found in sativa-dominant varietals. It activates most around 349 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 176 degrees Celsius. You need some spice in your life? Get some caryophylline or caryophylline. It's pronounced different ways, but it's the main terpene that contributes to the spiciness of black pepper, but it can also be found in clove, rosemary, hops, and spicy cannabis varietals such as OG Kush, Girl Scout cookies, or Bubba Kush. It's chemically unique because it actually has anti-cancer properties. It has a unique inclusion of a cyclobutane ring, making it a rarity in nature and a possible contender for a new chemotherapy drug. It's an anti-inflammatory, it's an analgesic, it's also a dietary cannabinoid, a foodstuff, meaning it actually binds to CB2 receptors. Um, it has local anesthetic benefits, I believe, also, and the fact that it has contention for a new chemotherapy drug makes it a threat to pharmaceutical industries. It activates most around three, 260 degrees Fahrenheit or 130 degrees Celsius, and I'm super excited for all the new information that's going to come out about it. Humulene, one of the most predominant terpenes found in Humulus lupulus. It's also found in common hops, ginseng, sage, and also cannabis. It's related to beta carefilene as it also displays anti-cancer properties, but it has a different isomer with distinct properties. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. It's also an analgesic, and like it's uh, like the cannabinoid THCV, it's a known appetite suppressant, so it could actually help promote weight loss. It activates most around 257 degrees Fahrenheit or 125 degrees Celsius. Terpeneal, alpha terpeneal, and gamma terpeneal. They're known to have a very pleasant aroma, therefore they're mainly used in perfumes and soaps, but other than just scent, they're actually known to have a relaxing effect. On top of that, studies also suggest that cannabis-derived terpeneal has powerful antioxidant properties, along with antiviral and also antibacterial. It's a good immune system stimulant, and it's most commonly found in jack hair and also jack crosses. It's most commonly activated at 426 degrees Fahrenheit or 219 degrees Celsius. Terpinaline is also a personal favorite of mine. It's got a slightly woody yet smoky aroma. It's most commonly found in apples, cumin, lilac, and also uh, tea tree, I believe. So it's neither an analgesic nor an anti-inflammatory, but it does show to help with fighting cancer. It's got antiseptic properties, antibacterial, and also antifungal. So it's a sedative when used in conjunction with CBD and also linalool. So it could help patients that struggle from sleep, especially cancer patients. It's an effective uh, pest deterrent against weevils and also mosquitoes. It activates best around um, 343 to 347 degrees Fahrenheit or 173 to 175 degrees Celsius. Geraniol is going to be the last of the primary terpenes that I'm going to be talking about for cannabis. It emits a rosy yet fruity uh, citrus-like aroma. It's actually an effective mosquito repellent. Um, it has potential effects for fighting against neuropathy, and it's also a powerful antioxidant. It activates most around 447 degrees Fahrenheit or 231 degrees Celsius. Let's talk about the secondary terpenes. These terpenes aren't as noticeable because they're volatile and they tend to degrade as soon as you inhale, but um, they're still important and they can still be isolated. For this first secondary terpene, let's talk about camphene. Camphene is extracted from the wooden bark of a tall Asian tree called camphor. It's uh, used in a lot of essential oils and also insecticides when synergistically involved with pinene. It has promising effects for antioxidant properties and also pain relief. It activates most around 318 degrees Fahrenheit or 159 degrees Celsius. Carrying is an interesting one. Um, I haven't tried it out myself in an isolated form, but it has like a sweet pungent odor. It's the main constitution in like pine and cedar resin, but it's used to treat like excess fluids like tears, mucus, and uh, sweat. It activates most around 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 171 degrees Celsius. Barneol is very similar to menthol as it has that similar minty aroma. It also displays strong anti-inflammatory effects. Um, it's used as a calming sedative. It can help with fighting fatigue. It helps people suffering from illness or stress. It activates most around 414 degrees Fahrenheit or 212 degrees Celsius. Vital is another one of my personal favorites, although it's hard to find in the cannabis plant alone. So I like to supplement it with other things and I'm going to show you guys what I do later on in this video. So... 
Phytol is a dye terpene. It is a result of degradation of chlorophyll. It's found in green tea. So make sure your green tea is decaffeinated because Phytol actually inhibits the enzyme that degrades the neurotransmitter GABA, which may contribute to its relaxing effects. So if you have something that's caffeinated, it might do the opposite of what you're looking for. So just make sure it's not. It activates most around, I believe, 400 uh, degrees or like 399 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, 204 degrees Celsius. Eucalyptol is interesting. Um, it's hard to tell in cannabis just based off smoking, but once you isolate it, that's when it really has that pronounced eucalyptus smell. Obviously, it comes from the eucalyptus plant. It's earthy, minty, and it's potent and has very strong antifungal effects. It activates most around uh, 349 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. Fenchol is another one of my personal favorites. I love it. It's found in basil and it's used extensively in perfumery. It has such a unique aroma that's just like addicting. Um, it exhibits very strong antibacterial effects. It's found in OG groups, Pineapple Express, Jack Hair, XJ13. It activates most around 349 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 201 degrees Celsius. Menthol is a super interesting secondary terpene. I've only had one flower that actually tasted like mint, and it was from Alien Labs Creme de la Menthe, but you could also find it from Aran Haze number 13. It depends on who's growing it, though, obviously in the phenotype, but it displays strong analgesic properties and also anti-inflammatory benefits. It activates most around 414 degrees Fahrenheit or 213 degrees Celsius. And that's the course for terpenes. I really appreciate you following along. I'm super excited to share this with you. There are over 200 terpenes of the cannabis plant alone, and very few have been studied for their pharmacological benefits, and there's still more research and more information coming out till this day. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat below, and all this information will be available for download.